This is a story of my second trip during the pandemic. It's December 4, 2021, and I just arrived back in my hometown from Shergao. Now, on the same day, I'm about to explore a province that I haven't been to. With me is a phone that I just got. I'm gonna use it to document my trip. Exhausted from my trip, I finally entered my room in Cagayan de Oro to rest before I head to Bugidnon. It was really cozy and had a nice view. I went to bed and set my alarm at 6 a.m. to wake up. Hello, Miss Jo. Good morning. Oh, good morning. This is your front desk at Limkat Kai Lux Hotel. Your tour organizer requested to wake you up at 5 a.m. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, great. You have a nice day. Bye-bye. Um, make that 5 a.m. instead. I head down to the lounge for an awesome breakfast buffet. The food is great. Enough to energize me for what's to come. Afterward, I check out and I met my van buddies for this trip. Hi everyone! Good morning! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw a lot of guys that were just sitting around at, at the, the, the table. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> we head to the Hilayan Forest Park and tried out their attractions. I got a chance to try out a few rides that were so fun to do. It was really cool, and I wish I had more time to try out the other rides. we explored Campo One's Heritage House and met Mr. Neric Acosta. This is my life here. <laughs> uh, this is the crazy part of being in, know, in the art and heritage world. Because uh, even a mansion from Pangasinan is piece by piece brought to Mindanao, 2,000 kilometers away, and put back together. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is a... No one, no one's done this in Mindanao, so it takes a certain madness. <laughs> the Heritage House came all the way from Pangasinan. It was shipped to Bugidnon and assembled here. Inside, it is decorated with a lot of artifacts and antique collections of the Acostas. It also has bedrooms, which are used for accommodation. Sir Acosta mentioned that VP Lenny Robredo stayed in one of their rooms when she visited here. Just outside his establishment, we tried out their sky deck and biked along the thin rope. Hi! How are you? I'm just looking forward. I don't want to look down. My anxiety is real. Woo! The view was really amazing, but pretty scary if you look down. I was having second thoughts doing this and bringing my phone while cycling this high. Woo! Luckily, no accidents happened. 
We then visited the Tagalwanan Weavers. The Tagalwanan Women Weavers Association aims to preserve and promote the Tagalwanan tradition of weaving, as well as the customs and tradition that surrounds it. Not as a historical artifact, but as a viable source of employment for the women weavers. We witness their work and how they make their products. They use sod sod grass to make their products. It is endemic in Bukidnon and quickly grows in the wetlands of the mountain. I saw a lot of their products such as mats, hats, and so much more. Situated in Malaybalay City is the Benedictine Abbey Church, home of the Benedictine monks. The monastery has a pyramid-like structure. We finished the day with a solemn mass. It was a much-needed piece and I felt grateful to have visited this place. Stuff. On our second day, we checked out from Double M Hotel to visit a unique artist in Bukidnon. She is a member of the Talaan Dig tribe. This artist uses soil to paint her exquisite works. Nagsimula ako bilang ano, uh, hindi kaya ako ng kuya ko. I was inspired by my brother, Mama Nisawa. Try soil painting. So, yun na, sinubukan ko hanggang sa tuloy-tuloy na naging soil artist na ako simula ng araw na yun. I have a lot of inspiration actually. Uh, number one is my culture. In, uh, my culture, tapos uh, the nature and my women and children in our community. This is the richness of the stories of my tribe. Soil painting is uh, painting with, where you use soil as your medium. So I use different shades of soil. Uh, naging 25 different shades na siya. Try nyo bumisita dito sa ano, soil painting gallery ng Talahandig Tribe. Ito yung pinakaunang gallery dito sa aming community, sa indigenous community. You will discover a lot of stories. It will serve as a window of the past and the stories of the ancient people in Kingdom. So, marami kayong magkikita at matutunan here. So, magkikita nyo yung gano'ng ka-reach ang kultura na. Salima is definitely a best-kept secret and a treasure to Bukidnon. Bukidnon has so many natural resources. In Lapatan, Bukidnon, we got the chance to visit a farm that knows the importance of agroforestry in the ecosystem, the Binahon Agroforestry Farm. Henry Binahon toured us around his farm and we got to learn so much about trees, plants, farming, and how everything coexists with one another. We even got a chance to harvest some cabbages and carrots. It was one of those rare moments that make you feel like a farmer. The Philippine soil has produced such diverse products. I discovered that there is a product that has won several awards at an international level. Coffee. At Central Mindanao University, coffee is a major commodity. The CMU Coffee Cupping Laboratory is the first in Region 10. Because of the climate and soil in Bukidnon, the farmers can harvest premium coffee beans. A couple of us got to experience Coffee cupping, which is a process to observe the taste and aroma of the brewed coffee. Professor Andrew Melanchon gave us a cool experience in telling which of the brewed coffees are premium level. In the same university, there's also a product that travelers stop by to buy their pasalubong for their loved ones. Fresh Carabao Milk. The Philippine Carabao Center at CMU aims to conserve, propagate, and promote the Carabao as a source of milk meat, draft power, and hide to benefit the rural farmers. These Bulgarian mora buffaloes are imported animals, but they are now adapted to the climate of the Philippines. On our last day in Bukidnon, we experienced glamping at Taglukob Strawberry Hills. 
This was unique glamping for me because we stayed inside geodesic domes on a strawberry farm. I was in awe when I saw the strawberry farm and their veggies being grown in hydroponics. Their food was so fresh that makes you want to get second rounds. And of course, their camping facilities are very memorable. Bukidnon isn't the typical trip you would go to. It doesn't have the white sandy beaches that most people would look for, but it is such a charming place to explore. The cold weather, the fresh foods, the views, and how strong their ecotourism is. I was able to admire mother nature, learn about the people who work hard to produce such wonderful products, and I wouldn't have enjoyed this experience without the people I have traveled with during this trip.